Hello and welcome. This video will cover the boil slow experiment in which we are using this purpose main kit which is consists of acrylic cylinder in here uh, with a grace of centimeter cube or cube centimeters uh, which is connected to this valve here and this pressure gauge. As we close this valve this pressure gauge is going to read the pressure, positive pressure always, within the cylinder. So, before you start with the experiment, you will need to make sure that this rubber stopper is traveling more than 20 cubic centimeters. You'll be doing that by turning this thread through using this handle in here. So, we'll turn anti-clockwise till the rubber stopper moves further to 20 cubic centimeters. While doing that, we need to make sure the valve is open. Valve is open means the handle is in line with the valve. As we travel more than 20 cubic centimeter, we can close the valve now, and you can see when it's clo closed, the handle is across the pipe direction. Now this pressure gauge is going to read the pressure from inside the cylinder. We are going to turn now clockwise till we see a change in pressure and heat. You will need to travel for about 3 to 4 cubic centimeters before the pressure is enough for the gauge to read it. After that, we will need to take a specific increments or intervals of pressure and reduce the volume, record the pressure and volume at each step. You can read either scales of this pressure gauge, which is in PSI or bars. But you will need to note down the units you are using. You can use intervals of divisions of a pressure from this pressure gauge and change the volume accordingly. So, your result sheet will be basically a table of two columns. The first one is the pressure and the increments will be based on the pressure change. Next to that will be the volume read from this uh, divisions or grades on the cylinder. By now, you should see the pressure increasing as I'm turning uh, the handle in here, which is basically reducing the volume of the air in the cylinder. This, the results from this experiment should give you indication of the pressure, volume, relationship for air and room temperature. Room temperature is important to note it down for you in this experiment, so always ask a member of staff what's the current temperature within the lab. Basically, increase the pressure, reduce the volume by turning this you should be seeing the pressure increase in here and vice versa. If we are going to turn to the other direction increasing the volume, the pressure will be reduced as I'm doing now. Always remember to use this handle while turning this threaded rod to move the rubber stopper. Never use your hand to turn the threaded rod directly as this will be have lubricant oil and it can be sh having sharp edges at certain points. The other thing you will need to remember, always as you are done with the experiment, you should open this valve and you will be hearing the air leaving uh, from the cylinder. Don't keep the apparatus under pressure or under vacuum as you leave. If you are done with your experiment, make sure the valve is open. You will need to make sure the valve is open as you set the apparatus at the beginning of your lab by moving the stopper more than 20 cubic centimeter. So this is basically it. Thank you for watching.